virtual reality, the virtual world, an escape, if you will. There's many gateways to this virtual world, and uh, one of those just so happens to be the, uh, the Oculus Quest 2 from Mark Zuckerberg himself. So this is the headset, these are the controllers. It's a pretty good package, I mean, for what you get right out of the box. This head strap, definitely not good. Uh, this face foam, definitely irritating. But overall, it's a pretty good headset. But don't worry, Oculus has an overpriced solution for you. The Oculus Elite Strap from the Zuck himself. And here's the product. It's actually pretty comfy, but after a long time, this, uh, this rubber right here starts to cut off the circulation to the back of my head. So, uh, maybe get some foam to put over that or something. But what if that's not good enough for you? You want maximum comfort out of your headset. Well, there's a free accessory, yes, free, that drastically increases the comfort of this doodad right here. It may look sad, it's definitely free, but my goodness does this thing help. So just slip this little sad noodle over your facial interface and immediate comfort boost. And here we have it, the silicone noodle on top of the foam. And this comes in the box, this glasses spacer. I don't wear glasses, but I have to put this thing on, otherwise my eyelashes touches the lenses and it's very irritating. And then once you have all that off, you just got a little bare nugget here and that's the entire VR. It's actually really incredible how small this thing actually is, but uh, that's besides the point. So now it's time to put all the accessories on. And there we are, the Extreme Comfort Oculus Quest 2. Now let's set that aside and focus on the controllers. Now these are the new and improved Oculus Touch controllers and I say improved for a reason. They, uh, they, they don't split like the other ones used to do. The triggers feel really nice, and they have sensors, so the headset detects when your finger is just resting on the triggers. It's very cool. And uh, yeah, they come with wrist straps, but pro gamers don't need wrist straps. And the final, actually useful accessory is uh, the egg. It's, uh, it's a carrying case. But my gosh, it's not very intuitive. But with enough willpower, you know, anything's possible, so uh, yeah. And there's your egg. Now there's downsides to everything, and of course the downside of owning a Quest is uh, uh, limited hardware capability, and uh, you know, the old, the old Zuck right there. But on that limited hardware note, you know, if you manage to scramble together a PC, in today's markets, then there's always PC VR, you know? There's always the link cable, which just so happens to be $80 for some reason, and hook it into your PC, and there you go. You got PC VR. So overall, I think the Quest is a, is a pretty revolutionary headset in the sense that, uh, yeah, it can do PC VR, but it could also do great games standalone. Like, just popping this thing on and playing a couple rounds is super hot. It's really, you get lost in it, you know? Time flies. But you know what does also fly? The battery life. <laughs> I'm serious here, it lasts like two hours full charge. Playing VR chat with my friends, I, I'm usually the first one to go because of how poopy the battery is on this thing. Now, there is products that fix that. You know, like the VR Power 2. It's a little battery pack that straps to the back of the headset. It increases your battery life by about three hours, and that's awesome. But uh, even with PC VR, it doesn't get a steady enough charge to charge while you play. So you're always on the clock, you know. But you know, maybe it's not the most healthy thing to play VR all day. So maybe a limit would be nice, but uh, it's a free country, man. I could do what I want. But yeah, I think the Oculus is actually a very good choice for a first headset. You know, if you're looking to shill out a couple hundred dollars, it's a pretty good experience for what you get. I mean, yes, the accessories are very overpriced, especially the Oculus Link cable, but 
I think it's a good package. Now's pretty much a good time to buy a quest. Unless those quest pro rumors are true. Yeah, you heard me right, quest pro. There's been leaks, rumors, you know, better fans, better cameras, better tracking. No, no tracking ring on the controllers. What kind of future are we living in? So Facebook is gonna release a Facebook Connect soon, hopefully revealing a Quest Pro or Quest 3 or whatever they're gonna call it. So now's probably not the time to buy a Quest, but uh, it's still a pretty good headset. But that's gonna be it for today's video on the Oculus Quest 2. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.